These numbers may surprise you on the true cost of having a car, SUV, or truck in your driveway in 2023. First of all, the average monthly payment on a new car was $7.25 in the first quarter of 2023, up $75 from last year. Leasing a new car was cheaper at $5.86 a month, and owning a used car was the cheapest option with an average monthly payment of $5.16. Regardless of your choice, you're still likely to be paying over $500 a month whether you finance or lease a vehicle. But that is far from the true cost of owning a vehicle in 2023, especially when you take into account interest, depreciation, fuel, insurance, maintenance, and other fees. The cost of owning a car makes a big leap. For new vehicles, average car ownership costs were over $10,000, almost $11,000 a year, or about $900 a month in 2022, according to the AAA. Now let's break down these factors one by one to see how the cost has added up to be so high. First of all, gasoline, which prices change almost daily, and this is one of the most variable costs of driving a car. According to AAA, an average driver pays around $0.18 cents a mile for a lead of gas in 2022. Over a 15,000 mile year, that's $2,700 annually just in fuel costs on average. Next up, maintenance and repairs on your car, truck, or SUV. These equal about $121 a month for a new car, according to AAA. Common maintenance costs include oil change, tire rotation, which is usually done every 5,000 miles, hopefully, uh, or in this scenario, three times a year. While you likely need to pay for your normal maintenance uh, brought on by wear and tear, you won't have to pay for certain repair costs if your car is still under factory warranty, which is hopefully it is. Manufacturer warranties are typically for three years or 36,000 miles, whichever you hit first. If your car isn't under warranty because it's older or maybe it ran out, you need to set aside some money for those repairs, whether they're needed each month or not, just in case. This keeps you from being hit with an unexpected bill when irregular maintenance is needed. Here's something I think is often overlooked, and that's registration fees and taxes. Uh, the average car owner will pay around $675 for licensing, registration, and taxes to legally drive their vehicle. How these fees are calculated, how often they're paid, and how much they cost vary by state. Where you live and the type of fees you have to pay will determine how much you will pay annually in this category. A few more now. Insurance. Almost every state requires auto insurance coverage. The annual average premium for full coverage in America runs just under $1,600 a year. But the cost of insurance is influenced by several factors, including the selected coverage, the type of car you drive, your age, your driving record, and of course your location. And depending on your circumstances and coverage options, you might pay more or less than the average premium of technically $1,588. Last but not least, depreciation. Although depreciation isn't a payment that you're shelling out in cash, cars usually do lose value over time. This means you are losing money over time and it affects your total cost of ownership. It's important to note that this current car market is a unique one where depreciation has shrunk, though it's likely to change in the near future. So in some cases, depending on the make model of your vehicle, where you live, some vehicles over the past year have been worth more used than new. Let me say it again. Some vehicles have been worth more used than new because the used car market was so hot uh, at a given time. But in a normal market, cars lose around 15 to 20% of their value in the first year. Over each of the next four years, depreciation will be around 15%. Per year. So while depreciation isn't money out of your pocket per se, it is a cost of owning a car when you go to resell that vehicle. If and when you are in the market for a new or used vehicle, check out quotes.everymandriver.com. It's a free search engine for the best deals in your area by zip code from qualified dealerships. Just select the make model in your zip code and qualified dealers will pop up. Just choose which ones you want to work with. That way you can get a quote on a good deal in your area on a new or used vehicle. That's quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.